Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some 1x6 as Axe, but today's video is also sponsored, brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace, of course, is a fantastic all-in-one platform for all of your website and online store needs. I use Squarespace for everything that I need if it comes to the online stuff, the presence, the websites, you know? so that people can find me and contact me about their weird game project ideas that they have. And then I have to tell them that that's going to be really expensive. And they're like, Baumi, I have 15 bucks and a lot of energy. And I'm like, buddy, that's just not going to do it. So if that's something that you're looking forward to, then Squarespace is the service for you. Squarespace.com slash Baumi. There's a link in the description. And we're going to be playing the new Axe today. Axe, of course, got the Battle Hunger. Uh, upgrade where it now uses armor as part of the calculation which is kind of crazy and you can use dunk to get permanent armor and then you just end up with a ton of armor and do a ton of damage and I thought it was going to be a bit of fun so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get into the game cool grab ourselves county helix right away we'll grab these two put this boy in there this comes in here and then we're gonna just go for the usual which is just blink blade mail right I feel like every time I play Axe, every time I try to do something different, right? I'm like, hey, let me see if I can like try a different strat, you know, maybe a different approach to how to handle all of this. I always just end up regretting it. And I always end up just going back to Blink Blade Mail because I'm Axe. That's what I do. I Blink Blade Mail things, right? And um, yeah, I don't know. Just always feels right. Anyway, we're gonna get like a hidden and a spinning. And then we're gonna leave. Because we're gonna get the stack. Right? That's the more nice important goal. thing. So to get the stack, we uh, need to wait the timer. And we have a bit of time. So we just get get a bit of damage in, right? It's just a little bit more efficient. Anyway, we're playing Axe because we can get cool Cunning Blade bonus armor. Which uh, sounds fun. And that's the plan. That's it. That's what we're gonna do. And this now also deals more damage based on how long it's been ticking. Right? So it's it's actually got that inbuilt a little bit. Alright, we're gonna have to go back. One more spin, maybe? One more? No. Alright. Kind of unfortunate, but oh well. Spin, spin, spin. Very good. Hey, I mean, we're Axe, right? 40 gold per minute. I think it's so early on in the game right now that it it's very reasonable to just pick that up. Um, it should be perfectly usable. And then we'll make our way over here. Take down this again. And uh, I think this was probably a mistake. I probably should have headed the other direction because I didn't clear this fully. So I don't really get a full camp farm there. But that's okay. Uh, generally speaking, I think it's fine. Before we get a neutral item, we don't need to be super efficient, super aggressive yet. Um, I want to get, uh, I want to get the face boots as well, right? So it should be okay. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and go like this. That's fine. All right. Now we're gonna prioritize face boots just a tad little bit because they tend to they tend to be very good at just kind of getting the job done, whatever the job may be. Okay. I don't think I can get the stack in time. That's okay. We'll go for the stack with the next wave. These guys right here are worth more money overall anyway, right? Should be good. <clears throat> Sadly, 40 GPM is only will likely only get you 800 to 1200 gold total during the game. Sure, but that's better than 10 damage. Right? Like, 10 damage isn't worth 800 gold. So, I think 40 GPM this early on is actually quite sensible. The only time 40 GPM is worse is... Uh, ooh, we'll get this. The only time 40 GPM is worse is if we end up um, getting into like super, super, super late game where I have way too much money anyway, right? So I think overall it ends up being better. We're going to go for the stack on these and then come in and uh, go for the creeps afterwards. 
Since we don't have to last hit these, it is entirely optional, so we'll just kind of miss out on one of them. But I think that's where getting the creeps is nicer. There we go. We have battle hunger silences already. I don't think we can necessarily do this. And also, has this already been counted? Well, that didn't take long. All right. Hello. What's up? I am trying to record something here. Oh, okay. Have fun on the walk. Oh, that's good. Hello. Let me grab these. Thank you very much. And now we're going to grab ourselves some more armor. We have a really good amount of armor now. Probably enough that we can't handle this. <laughs> we can handle this. No, we can't handle this. Uh, three, two, one. There we go. And after this wave, we should definitely clear it. Just because I am worried about the Queen of Pain at that point coming in and somehow sabotaging it. And we wouldn't want that, right? That would be bad. There we go. We got some spell life steal too. It's not much, but we don't need a lot, right? Like, it's one of those things. We're like, did we get a lot of spell life steal? No, we don't have a lot of spell life steal. But we don't need a lot. We just need some. Okay. Um, big stack. Let's see if we die. Gives us some armor. Spin, spin, spin. All right, cool, got it, perfect. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh no, we might die now. Good day to fight. Ooh, depends a bit on if the Queen of Pain wants to risk this. She's definitely worried about it. You can see that. Okay, good. Uh, that worked out decently, I think. She was a bit scared. This may have looked a bit silly, right? You might remember, why didn't the Queen of Pain just blink in on you? She probably didn't have vision on me, right? I had vision because I had a ward down. There's no guarantee she had a ward down. So, we're all good. There we go. Take down these. Whoo. It's actually kind of a tough one. I think we're going to go for the movement speed. Um, spell I steal seems kind of nice, but also not that important, right? Seems like something we'll be able to acquire anyway. That new E-Blade seems like it would be very good with us. So, assuming it's already in the mode, which... Let's have a quick little look here. E-Blade? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's gonna be great for us. It's gonna be super, 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 super good. Okay, very excited about this whole E-Blade situation, actually. <laughs> okay, let's get another 3% counter helix. That sounds good. Coming in here, throw down this. Thank you very much. Battle Hunger deals physical damage now. Ooh, that's true. Ooh, okay, that makes E-Blade a little awkward then, doesn't it? Because it's not going to work well with Battle Hunger. All right, should we not go for E-Blade then? Huh. All right, might be... Oh, yes, free armor, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get that free armor. That sounds good. We might have to reconsider the E-Blade. I don't think I do enough here. No. But I kind of scare her a bit. That's fine. Right, like, that's kind of a win by itself. We don't have Blade Mail yet, so without Blade Mail, I think, as Axe, you're just not as strong as you're gonna be. And our Battle Hunger isn't maxed out, and we, we just don't actually have that much yet, you know? Ooh. Took down my ward, and that somehow... Alright, we're gonna have to leave. She does not have enough to kill me right now. But if I stick around, she very well might. Or I'm not going to bother with Lich. We'll probably show up. Maybe show up towards the end of it. I oh, don't know. Lich is a very slow killer's axe. Because none of our abilities really do that much to him. Or, you know, anything. So... 
It's not the um, best case scenario for us. Your tower is under attack. Your tower is under attack. Yes, counter helix increases my armor. Your tower is under Alright, we can probably just come in and get a dunk now. Nice. So, Battle Hunger can now only be dispelled by dealing your 30%, dealing damage equal to 30% of your maximum health, and every 3 seconds, Battle Hunger armor multiplier increases by 1. In other words, uh, it should just do a ton of damage, right? Nice, and we get ourselves some bonus armor here. Armor increased by 1. Isn't that just fantastic? <laughs> <laughs> cool. And then there's a Huska over here, which may seem like a risky hero to go up against, but I think as Axe, we're actually perfectly fine with it. Right? Like, Axe is a bit of a Huska killer. So, that works out. That works out fine. So do we want this E-Blade then? Probably not. What about this? This trinket. I mean, we need armor, right? Like, maybe I just get a Shiva. Do I just rush Shiva? Is that bad? That feels kind of bad. But I think it might be right. <laughs> what do you build? Do I just get Aghanims? Maybe I just get a Kaya and a Saint. That seems best. Alright, we get Kai and the Sange, and then we just kind of go from there. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god. Okay, that is actually kind of disgusting. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That battle hunger damage. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get this. Oh no, hello. Wait, where did she go? Alright, alright. I know that there's a Hoskal around here somewhere. Let's do it. Nice, second donk. Battling can be cast on yourself. That way we always have a battle hunger going on. Never mind. <laughs> oh man. Queen of Pain is always in my face here. It's just uh It's a little unfortunate how that works out. What is that Queen of Pain doing anyway? Dagger build, okay. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Never seen Huskar disappear so fast. I mean, we just do a lot of damage. And Axe, as I mentioned, Axe is just a Huskar killer. He's just good at that. He's always been good at killing Huskar. So. Oh, I missed that. Really? Well, that's not ideal. Yeah, I think for now I'm just going to go for Ikaya and the Sange. That way I have something to kind of like... Provide some stats, some mana, right? A bit of spell amp is good too. And uh, it'll make it, it like the opponents think twice about wanting to fight us. All right, hello. Oh, she already blinked out. Man, you're fast. Also, holy shit. That is so much damage. Is she dead? I extended the duration of it. Here comes the oh my god! <laughs> she died! Alright. That was... That is actually kind of filthy. That is disgusting. Oh, I should maybe clear up a common misconception that people have about Spellamp. So, um, Battle Hunger is physical damage. 
you can still spell out that. Right? Just because it's physical damage doesn't mean it can't be spelled out. Hello. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, I was kind of holding on the donk. I don't think she was in range. So I don't I don't see it as a mistake on my end. But I'm kind of sad that it wasn't enough to take her down. I need a Dispel and Armor. So is it a Lotus Orb? What else can I get that gives me a Dispel and Armor? Or maybe I just need an Agonims. Makes it a bit easier to actually apply our Battle Hunger. Yeah, Lotus is strong. Yeah, you know what? I think Lotus actually makes a lot of sense for us. It gives us mana, gives us the armor we want, gives us a dispel, makes it so that they can't really just cast shit on us. It makes us really strong in long, drawn-out fights, and that's exactly where we want to be strong. Right? Like, that's the kind of fights where we want to excel. So. Hello. Oh, you have a Lincoln's? No, what was that? <laughs> I'm guessing that the Queen of Pain is just gonna wait out the, uh, the Battle Hunger. Right? She's not gonna risk coming out of the base while that's still active. Is that mine? Oh, it is mine. Gotta pick that up really quick. Yes, I will take 20 Battle Hunger damage per second. Thank you, that sounds great. So where is this Huskar anyway? Oh, how rude. I think I found the Huskar. Nice. <laughs> and that's more armor, thank you very much. Now we have six armor. Hey, that adds up pretty quickly. The fact that Axe just has permanent growth now is it's actually kind of wild, isn't it? And such a weird one at that. Such a weird one. So, we'll get ourselves more armor, right? We always just keep stacking armor. If we can pick up armor, then we pick up armor. <laughs> I think that's just the build. So we'll grab that and the... Um, the... Uh, what's it called? Aghanim's Shard is now available sooner. So we should definitely go for that if we can. Good. Quick little dunk. Each time the battle hunger deals damage, the target loses one armor and you gain an equal amount. So now I, I gain armor for, for casting it. And they lose armor. And it's physical damage. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> it just does everything. <laughs> yeah. How rude. Come on. Cast it. There you go. <laughs> oh, I feel like I shouldn't have gotten that kill. <laughs> oh shit, I, I forget I can cast it on myself, right? Ah, oh, I always forget about that. That's definitely my bad. I will do that. No, you guys are right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta cast it on myself. Always forget about that. It's just such like a weird thing to be doing as Axe. Like when does Axe cast Battle Hunger on himself? Like that's just not a thing that I'm used to with this hero. It's like one of those those little quirks of me just playing the game forever. Because I've been playing Dota for ever. I don't know. I don't have a better way of putting that, right? 15 fucking years, probably longer than that. And um, there's just certain things where my brain doesn't think about them anymore. They're just kind of like stored away in a certain box, in a certain category, right? 
and uh, the fact that like battle hunger is just something you cast on enemies. You don't you don't like, cast battle hunger on allies. That's just not how battle hunger works, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, but no, no, no. I can cast it on myself, and it's pretty good, honestly. It even gives me armor. Look at that. It helps me build up armor, which is actually kind of crazy if you think about it. Or even if you don't think about it, that's just kind of crazy. Wait, can I keep this? No, it resets. Wait, no, it does not build up armor. That was uh, my spin. That was my spin. Okay. But yeah, I should just keep this active at all times. I mean, it's a... Can we spin, please? Thank you. It's a good amount of healing, right? And it comes at pretty much free. We have enough mana region to just keep it going. Oh, come on now. <laughs> oh, I totally would have just kept running in and cast the battle hunger on her, but uh, she already went down to that previous one. Oh, is that armor? Oh, oh dear. Is that armor? <laughs> just avoiding the dunk. Yeah, come on, let me have the dunk. I don't appreciate that. I feel like, I feel like you gotta let me have the dunk. If you don't let me have the dunk, that's just kind of being rude. Also, this wave is just an absolute nightmare for me. But we got it. Yes, more armor. Oh, it's just so easy to get armor in this mode, right? Like, usually in normal Dota, getting armor is something that's actually, like... It's not incredibly difficult, but there's, like, a certain cap on it, right? There's only so much you can reasonably get. But in here, I'm just... Just getting more armor. <laughs> Just keep them coming. Just keep the stacks going, right? There's really no no limit on how much armor I can have you. Okay. Do you wanna wanna maybe no? I mean, oh hello. Oh, we're grouping up now. Well, that is rude. I gotta say that is just disrespectful. I feel like I deserve better than that. Rude, rude, rude. Nice, Huska getting some kills though. And look at how much money the Huska made from that. Yeah, it's definitely something in this mode where you you get so much money from kills now that you know, like you you can't be behind all game. And if you get one good kill, you just you're just back in it. You're just back in it. All right. Spell I steal. Well, first we need an Agonims, right? Also, shouldn't Roshan be really easy? Because I just applied this and let it tick a bunch of times, right? Reapply it. Enemies need killing. And then one more. I have too much stuff. There we go. Hello, friend. Hmm. Your tower is under attack. I'm just gonna keep running at you. Oh, how rude. Come back. <laughs> Your tower is under attack. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> oh. Your tower is under attack. No. No, we're Your doing this. We're doing this right attack. now, my friend. There you go. And now I'm gonna go Your back. Look, if you're gonna make me do it, then let's do it. Your That's all I gotta say. Attack. Right? That was really on the Queen of Pain. Yeah, we'll pick up the orb in a second. Don't worry about it. Your tower is 
Understand. We have 450 there. Good, good, good. I have way too much stuff. Uh, let me pick up my orb. Yes, we'll pick up this. And then we have another lesser repair kit, which I'll just slam on here. And then we'll grab ourselves our Aghanims. So with Aghanims, now our battle hunger reduces armor and gives us armor. And also the applies on cold, which is nice because it's just a bit of redundancy. All right, having a bit of redundancy is really nice for... Um, ooh. I'm going to get this, right? Or should we get the healing from Counter Helix? I think the common orbs, so we get more armor, right? <laughs> there you go. Just keep the armor coming. Hello, friend. Thanks for the armor. Oh, that's not so good, is it? Well, seems they want to keep fighting. Kind of lost track of where they're at, but... All right, all right. She's up here. Ooh, somebody will go greedy. Did my it connected? Nice. Let's go back. And the Queen of Pain can't buy back because she just bought back. So she's probably gonna take some tower damage. I mean, I'm gonna take some tower damage too, but that's okay. Because we have Battle Hunger now. All right, hey, we Battle Hunger. Look at that! Crazy. Crazy how much damage that does. I think I'm probably gonna pick up some spell I steal. Alright, they ignore your Q taunt. Yeah, it taunt doesn't work on creeps in this game mode. But it does apply the battle hunger, which is plenty for my purposes, right? It's really all I care about. I just want to apply battle hunger. Oh my god, look how much damage that does. <laughs> it's just absolutely ridiculous how much damage this battle hunger actually deals. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wait. Potch must have been sm must be smoked up. Oh yeah, Potch is smoked up down there. All right, all right. If I break the smoke, I should gain vision on him, right? Is it gonna be enough? Ooh, never mind. I severely overestimated my damage there. Oops. Hello! Quick little intermission so I can tell you all about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace, of course, is a fantastic platform for building a website. So you can see right here, this is my website, claritygames.de, where I have my little game studio and all the stuff we have done. And as I mentioned, it's useful for a lot of things, right? So you can have your like nice little landing page, which is very easy and quick to set up. You can, for example, have a little gallery where you can just showcase all of the things you have made and you can have people like look at everything you've done which is of course fantastic you can go into contacts and say hello you can just fill out this and then you'll be right there be able to get in touch with us send me a quick little message right and all of that as easy as the click of a button that's exactly it right ease of use that's king that's what makes squarespace so good that is why i personally use them and in case you didn't notice, but I already used Squarespace before I got sponsored by them. It was actually kind of funny. I was like, you know what? If I ever get one of the big sponsors, the people that sponsor people on YouTube, I wouldn't mind Squarespace because I already used the service because it's just good. And then here we are. So go check it out. There's a link in the description, squarespace.com slash balmy. Get yourself 10% off and let's get back into the game. So what we need is um, Soul Cross, right? Because it's more armor. Do we need it? Probably not. Is it the right item? No. Do I want it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> For sure. 100%. 
This is the item I'm going for, and he can't really stop me from doing it. Yes, more armor, thank you. So I'm sitting at a casual... Casual hundred and uh, something armor right now. So that's very good, I think. Yeah. Oh, hello. No, don't die! <laughs> she died too quickly. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Couldn't get the dunk off. Hmm. I have way too many smokes. I mean, look at that. It's just such an absurd amount of damage. Like, that's really the thing that stands out about me. Is, I mean, like, with Axe, kind of the sort of implied disadvantage you get on a lot of stuff is that you... Ooh, you have Diffusal Blade. Okay. That's not ideal. Hmm. What do we do about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Diffusal Blade is definitely a smart choice. It's also a very annoying one. It makes it so that this Huskov fight is now a real struggle. Which I don't like. I don't want that fight to be difficult. I'm gonna need to figure something out to do about him. I mean, I might just kill the Queen of Pena. As in, like, fully kill her. I don't think she'll be able to recover from this. She'll probably die to the creeps. Um. Yeah. Mana, spell, I steal, I steal, spell, I steal, right? Hoodwink died first. It's a bit of a surprise, isn't it? I mean, I expect the Queen of Pain to be saying goodbye right now. We'll make sure of that. Uh, movement speed. We get healing. Oh, she's not dead. Oh, that's actually fine, right? That's better for us, even. Because I can now get the epic for killing the tower. What do I get here? Berserker's Call Radius? We can get movement speed and spell arm? Hmm. I think I'll get the counter helix, but I, none of them really feel super good. We'll get rid of this. Send this back. Alright, so... Two players are out. And I am still worried about the Pudge. I mean, if we want to defeat the Pudge, we are certainly going to need a Sheba's Guard. Right, that's just going to be mandatory there. Hmm. Alright, let's start with doing Roshan again. No, oh, Huskar's coming in. That's not good. Roshan is dead. Has been slain. Come on! Uh, okay. 
I wanted some spins or something fun. Come on. Do I buy back? I need to buy back. But the Husker might not be able to. I'm definitely playing a bit of a suicide... <laughs> suicide build here, bud. Uh, or maybe less of a build, more of like a playstyle. <laughs> But I guess as long as it's working. <laughs> Good day to got now a Necropoc? Oh, I got too much stuff. Not Is the Husker yet. dead? I wouldn't be surprised. The Husker must have taken some good damage from that at the very least. You have widened Queen of Pain's base? No, that's not mine. That's Queen of Pain's. The tower got the kill on that. Right, keep in mind, just because there's an orb visible on the map doesn't mean that it's my orb, and it doesn't mean I can actually pick it up or do anything with it. Something that I see a lot of people a little uh, confused by, where they're like, oh, there's an orb there. Nope. I mean, yes, there is an orb there, but I can't do anything with it. Okay. Haskell is just chilling. Nearly dead base. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna like force this one, right? Come in here. No, I'm gonna have to leave. So, I think what we do instead is we're gonna use a Necrobook on the Huskar and then just backdoor the base afterwards. Right? There should be enough time for that, especially if we nuke down one of the creeps with a Hand of Greed. We can just insta-kill the big guy and then leave the base immediately. Oh, no! Shit. Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, I I had a whole plan. <laughs> had a whole strategy. <laughs> okay, so I think I can win against the Legion Commander in all likelihood. I'm not so worried about the Legion Commander. I am much more worried about the Pudge, and I'm not entirely sure what we do about the Pudge. Right? Like Legion Commander's fine, because Legion Commander she's just she, she right-clicks. Like, that's okay. We can deal with that. I'm not worried about somebody right-clicking me down. That's just not gonna kill me. Uh, got way too much armor for that. But I am worried about somebody uh, doing pure magic damage. That'll be much more difficult. So, we need to somehow kill the Pudge, and I have no goddamn idea how. Like, just not even the slightest clue. Does anybody have any suggestions on how we can possibly kill the Pudge? Because I, I really don't know. <laughs> Team up with the Legion? No, I don't want to get bad. <laughs> Fey Grenade and Third Eye, okay. Oh, no. Yeah, the patch is also getting kills on the Legion Commander. Enemies need killing. Hmm. Do we try? There's just no goddamn way, right? No, I don't even... I can't... I can't get close. Oh. He's just too tanky. <laughs> He's got 100... 135 fleshy strength. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna focus all of my attention on trying to backdoor the Pudge's base. 
You need to hang yourself for the healing. How do I kill the guy then? Won't the fear will delete him? But then I can't deal damage to him. Like, I need to... I don't know how I'm gonna deal damage to him if, if I fear all the guy, and I don't know how I'm gonna defend myself from him. I think it's just a really, really bad matchup, and the only play we've got is to just try and backdoor the base. Harkins Blade? No, Harkins Blade isn't gonna be useful. Right? Like, the, the Harkins Blade doesn't help us, because the Harkins Blade doesn't mean that Battlehunger now deals damage. Battlehunger is physical damage. That's why E-Blade e isn't good. E-Blade prevents physical damage taken. So, if I apply the Battlehunger to the to, uh, to the Pudge, and then I E-Blade him, then my Battlehunger does not hurt him. And if my battle hunger does not hurt the Pudge, I die. Maybe I can just pick up a bunch of magic resistance if I just stole long enough? I mean, there's a lot of creeps on the map. Mage Slayer? Mage Slayer is good, yeah. I think Mage Slayer is gonna just have to be one of the things. We'll see what we get for tier 5. Um... Okay, here's probably how we can do it. Oh no, don't die! No, no, no! <laughs> okay. Shit. I didn't know she was so close to death. Okay, I'm 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 in desperate need of, of something. Rest is for the dead. Okay, I don't want this. Just slam that on there. Good day to fight. I'm gonna need a tier 5. Just give me Giant's Ring. Into war's teeth. Or, um, Trident. Book of Shadows. That is sadly not useful for us. Okay, the Legion Commander is still hanging in there, although barely. I just hope that the Pudge doesn't realize he can probably just kill her. <laughs> Seer Stone, 25% spell damage, but that's just not actually useful. Oh, come on. Give me a better tier 5 here. We can do better than a Seer Stone and a... A what? A Book of Shadows? Apex. Okay, I guess. We'll take it. It's a lot of strength. At the very least, that. These Fey Grenades have a cooldown of 5. That's just always the problem with the really long cooldowns. Alright, we'll go back. I'm gonna keep slamming Necrobox on the Pudge and just kind of hope that one of them somehow kills him. It's not likely. Uh, Pudge is one of the best creep farmers. He's just really good at clearing the creep base. Although, right now, seems to be struggling. Never mind, maybe this will work. No, 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 god damn it! <laughs> oh, I don't think I can get there in time. <laughs> I can't, I can't make it in time. Oh no! <laughs> come on, Legion Commander, I had faith in you. Ah, oh, the Legion Commander would. The Pudge would totally have died to that as well. Alright, um. Do I get the Force Boots instead of my Apex? <sighs> okay, what do we buy? Well, to be honest, do I care about Blink Dagger? I think Blink Dagger actually can go. Right? Like, Blink Dagger is not actually that important. Do 
Oh, you got a Harkins blade. Huh. We don't buy the uh, last, like, the bonus epic. Is there any particular upgrade we can get that would be super good for us? Not really, right? Okay. I think I get rid of Blink. I don't think Blink is needed. I think I replace Blink and I get myself um, a Spellbreaker and I replace Face Boots and I get myself a Shiva Scarred and then I have 3,000 gold, which is not enough to really do anything. Um... Maybe I can quickly fit something in, but no, I, I can't. There's just not enough time. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see. I think this is the best we can do with our resources here. Okay. We need to reapply this. This always needs to be active so that we maximize the stacks over time. And I think we can do it. Oh, that was so close. Ah! Self-cast. I, I tried just by getting the battle hunger stacks going on the patch instead, but I think this time we're gonna go with self-cast instead. Alright. Just try and keep our healing up. That seems to be working better. Uh, that's fine, right? Oh, not quite, not quite. Come on, go down! Oh, shit. Come on! Woo! Come on! Yes! <laughs> okay, okay! <laughs> <laughs> what a struggle, but we, we're doing it. We're getting there. Alright, here's some battle hunger for you. Here's some battle hunger for me. Everybody's hungry for that battle today. Yeah, the healing from the self-cast is just really good. More battle hungers for everybody. Everybody's getting some battle hunger today. Okay, this is going to be very close. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we did it! Woo! Let's go, Axe! Oh my god. Dude, like that that build is just crazy. It just, it does so much damage now, right? Like before it was pretty good because I kind of like slowed people down and disabled the bunch and like it did good damage as well, but now it's so much damage. Oh my god, it's crazy, right? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Squarespace. There's a link in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.